All right, it's uh, seven o'clock um, on November 28th, and this is the meeting of the Conway Select Board. We're being videoed by Frontier Community Access Television for future viewing by the public. First item on the agenda is the minutes for the November 21st meeting. Has everybody reviewed the minutes? Yes. Any changes or additions? Good to me. Okay, I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes for uh, November 21st. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next item on the agenda, we have three warrants. We have a vendor warrant for $82,502, a payroll warrant for $105,833, and a payroll deduction warrant of $26,893. I'll make a motion that we accept those warrants. Second. Right. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Any uh, meetings attended by select board members since last week? Just Thanksgiving. Just, Just Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Okay. All right. I think we've all attended yep. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay. Uh, seeing no citizens here, I see no citizens' concerns. You're here in an official capacity, so we're you know. probably go right to. Uh, you want to? You want to come back to old business here? Okay. You okay? Um, next item on the agenda is our, um, our open space committee request to install bird houses on the Shelburne Falls Road property. Yes. Yes, it is uh, now looks much better mm -hmm. and is suitable habitat. Uh, certainly, I mean, there are birds there already, but for nesting bluebirds with their specific bluebird boxes. You put them up sort of in pairs. We propose to put two on either end. Right now, we Michelle and I just put some flags in um, at the edges of the um, catch basin. Mm -hmm. um, the field theoretically is big enough, acreage-wise, for two. They're kind of territorial, but they're kind of far apart there. Uh, uh, one hope that the theory on the two of them is that one would be used by the bluebirds and another for uh, tree swallows who like the same boxes. Um, and of course, they can be removed. Sure. You know, there's nothing permanent there. Yeah. Um, and th those are uh, outside of the area that's being hayed, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, just uh, make sure that they're. Not within the turning turning radius of where you turn with the tractor. No. Well, right now we got to, hit them then. we've got to yeah. That's, we don't want that. And no, they would. I mean, right there, our flags are in in the floodplain in the, which is going to be mowed every whatever once in a while, and then and then we take them up or or run them whatever. Um, so those are the uh, bluebird boxes, and also the suggestion. Uh, for a kestrel box, mm -hmm. which uh, because they are in decline, and then the wildlife officials encourage them, it's a big box that we don't have. If you drive down 116 in the flats, that's, yes. what, that is. that's what that is. Yes, right. Okay. And uh, we did have there was a um, a wildlife oh to view um, invasive species cleanup. Mm -hmm. Up at Tony Bort Borton's this spring, yep. or sometime, I saw and, that too. and he uh, he's got a kestrel box, and he assured us anyway the kestrels don't eat the bluebirds. <laughs> so I was going to cool. ask about oh, that. He said th they don't. He's absolutely you know he mm -hmm. he has one up on his barn, and he, they don't. You got some on the field. I don't know what they're for too. Well, I think those ones those are uh, bluebird boxes, okay. and our tree swallows, which are also. Very right. cool. So right. that would be it. We uh, mm -hmm. we're getting some donated bluebird houses from a school project. Nice. Oh great. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And we got to get some big posts. Uh, okay. you know, put the posts in. So that's the mm -hmm. re request. Any other questions for Jen? And the kestrel box? Mm -hmm. the, well, we have to secure that somehow. From how big is that? Well, it's big. You said it was big, right? It's big. Cool. Um, I mean, I'm going to ask Tony Borton. He did make some bluebird houses in the past, so I'm going to ask him if he wants to make it. And if he doesn't, going to, I, I don't know, go to the trade school. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be a good project for Tony. I mean, they were selling them. They're kind of pricey. But, uh, you know. Tech school would love to build you one like that. One box. Maybe they'd build, build more, and then we could. There we go. Sure. Offer them mm -hmm. to, you know, the appropriate sure. places because. They, 
Uh, we we're, we're going to get the um, post in before the ground freeze. Yeah, sure, freezes. good idea. Yeah. Um, and, Great. Um, you know, maybe the boxes too, because actually the bluebirds are shopping. Uh, they're checking out the housing for next year. Oh, so. they are. Okay. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Any okay. other questions for Janet? Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion that we um, give the open space committee approval to put uh, birdhouses down on the Shelburne Falls Road property. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Janet. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. We look forward to seeing you at the holiday party. Yes. Which will be the 22nd. Is there a date? Oh, good. Oh. Uh, but we'll, we'll okay. oh, yeah, finalize right. that. Okay. Um, Soon. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you all for your good work. Why, yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you for your good work. Okay, next item on our agenda is um, approve, approval of liquor licenses for the uh, Conway Inn and the Sunset Package Store. Um, these are licenses that we renew every year. Is that um, you got, long you got that one, licenses. second one in then, Tom? Yes, we okay. did. Okay. With hours to spare. Mm. So these have to go into the state and get approved there? Uh, we just notify the state. It, we are the, uh, you are the local licensing authority. So they, uh, at this point, they tell us how many you can give out and you can give them out to whoever you want. So. Okay. And we get two. There, there was, a, we get, we probably could have more than two. Um, well, and there are different kinds of establishments. I know there's so. another package store license available because you probably used to have a package store oh. license in the back of your building three years ago, along with Landrins. It was quite a few years ago now, so. But then she discontinued the package store part of it. So. Any, <coughs> any questions on these licenses? We renew these yeah. every year for these, for these two vendors. All right, I'll make a motion that we approve the licenses for the uh, Conway Inn and um, the Sunset Package Store. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, next item on the agenda is a re request from Wired West to withdraw from the cooperative. Okay, they are requesting that we withdraw from the Wild West. Wired West. <coughs> Wild yeah. West Communications Cooperative Corporation. Right? Bob, you know about that, so why don't you yeah. give us some uh, lowdown on that? Um, back when Governor um, uh, Baker took over, he basically split the uh, expansion project into two separate projects. One, towns that have some cable but a significant number of houses that aren't, that can't connect to it. And the other being towns that have no cable at all. And, uh, and the, the town then began negotiating with Comcast on behalf of 11 towns and ultimately um, back in August signed the contract and I think we've talked about that, but that, that project is on schedule. Um, we've finished the first three months of it. I expect in December we're going to get the, the uh, actual plans of which houses will be wired and which won't, and, and my hope is Conway will only have a few houses that won't be wired um, according to the preliminary plans that we got. And all of that is happening, and none of that has anything to do with Wired West. Mm -hmm. And so when that occurred, most of the partial cable towns stopped going to the Wired West board meetings, but the towns were still members of Wired West. And when they stopped going to the board meetings, Wired West became unable to have a quorum. Okay. And, uh, and they requested that we all go or drop out. And um, my opinion was I continued to go to the meetings, and so they weren't bothering me, but, uh, and actually they have rules in place of forcing towns to resign if they don't go to enough meetings, sure. um, yeah. but they don't like enforcing those rules, yeah. and so okay. here they are asking all of the 
partial cable towns to drop out of Wired West, and and I'm perfectly happy with us dropping out of Wired West. Uh, it, I mean, it, makes, it has no effect on us. At it will this have point no effect on us. At this all. is strictly an administrative matter for them. That's right. 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 Okay. Wired West is still managing, trying to have an involvement with the building of the fiber optic network or whatever occurs in all of the other towns mm -hmm. that have no cable, right. and they're busy doing that. And and but. For our project, partial cable towns no effect. has no effect at all. Okay. So I'll make a motion that we um, uh, vote to withdraw from Wild West. Wired, uh, wired West. <laughs> <laughs> Wild West, Wired West. Okay. Um, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, so it's a three to no vote. Okay. An example of why it makes me sad, though, I actually created the name Wired West. Did you? Yeah, back in about 2006. Six, I guess it was up in the <laughs> it, it was a long time ago. Well, and, uh, and, and I think I actually still own the, the internet uh, a domain. URL? Wired, Wired West. <laughs> okay. And I, and I should actually transfer that you over. Should rent it to them, Bob. <laughs> At least, at least. But I, yeah, I purchased the domain name uh, originally. So. <laughs> so it's sad for me. I, you know, I, I will admit that. Okay. All right. Okay. That's okay. It's all right, Bob. Okay. We have to set a date for the holiday party. What date do we set, Tom? Well, uh, the 15th is the school committee meeting. And uh, uh, Jan said that uh, it would be too bad if it conflicted with that. Uh, so uh, we had considered both the 15th and the 15th and the 22nd. The 22nd is okay with Barb okay. for having a party. Okay. And uh, so that appears to be a, a good date for okay. it to be. Uh, that's a Thursday. Wonderful. Thursday. Good date for me. All right. So let's let's get that word out to everybody. And what's the time? I said five to seven. I think that's when we've usually had it. Yeah. We, we kind of have tried it four to seven or something like that, but give yeah, no, people five, the, five is good. And it will be held across the five street? Five to seven, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, next item is to consider requesting that the planning board hold a hearing on the bylaw for a uh, moratorium on mar marijuana shops. Yes. Um, I had spoken to John about this as a possible uh, uh, agenda item because uh, the small town administrators uh, have been talking about, you know, how to deal with the fact that there aren't any regulations and it, it talk about the wild west. Uh, that's yeah. that's what we're talking about here. Uh, so. You know, just just uh, the, the same way that this sort of thing happens in in other fast-moving things, it happened with the recreation uh, with the medical marijuana item. Um, there was the idea that uh, maybe there could be a, a local moratorium while towns decided, you know, where they would allow these shops to be, because you can't say they can't exist. All you can do is, this you know, just to put some kind of say requirements this is, on it to this choose is, to come to town. This is where where you can exist. Um, that said, there's I had a discussion with Joe Stragowski about it because he is obviously affected by this uh, this item, and he pointed out that if the select board requests the planning board to take up a bylaw, they have to hold a hearing within 65 days. And then the town meeting has to happen within six months of that in order for it to be valid, or else the planning board has to hold another hearing. Mm. And the legislature is now considering delaying the implementation of the shops part of the law. Um, possession becomes legal December 15th, uh, but the, the sale wasn't going to become uh, legal until January and it, the legislature wants time to tweak the law and have reasonable regulations. So I thought actually rather than doing this now, let's wait to see what happens in the legislature by the end of the session, which is just the end of December. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and then if they delay it for you know a, a longer period of time then we should delay having you know requesting the planning okay. board to do this so that we don't run into those those uh, those time constraints uh, but I did think I'd you know at least mention it and uh, and recommend it as a prudent step to take okay so so we table it so, for now okay. yeah I, yeah that's because, what of, I would because of the the legislature we need to see what is this, this more term is this requested by the MMA also I mean it's been there's been talk of doing this you mean moratoriums? The moratorium, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm sure the MMA is, is for a, a moratorium. Yeah. Seeing as how they were opposed they were, to the they original. They were opposed, but, but, yeah. but Valid it, question. it seems like yeah. there's a number of municipal organizations that that have been pushing that we ought to have a, a more temporary you know, moratorium Yeah. while, while well, the law gets figured out. And, and the moratorium, uh, uh, er, early on there were moratoriums on uh, on developments coming into a town when towns didn't have the, the bylaws soon. And at that time the Attorney General ruled that really only one year moratoriums mm -hmm. were yeah. were in good faith because they were really just supposed to give the town, town right. time yeah. enough to come up with a, sure. a reasonable solution. Yeah. So yeah. It, they should be limited to one year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next item. Um, Do we need to vote to uh, or not? Uh, I'll, 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 I'll just I'll just bring it back. Just you know, know, when, it back when it's yeah. uh, when, when we know more. Yeah. Next item is uh, items not anticipated forty eight hours in advance of the meeting. Tom, oh. anything? Well, it, if if we can go back to old You'll business budget, for yeah. just a second, okay. Uh, ju just a bit of an update. Oh, the budget. Yeah. Um, I've got uh, uh, sixteen out of the thirty seven budget worksheets I sent out back, which is okay. good news. That's about, uh, about yeah. a, For this over, time, over a third of them. Sure. Um, and you'll, I think in your package, you'll see the select board budget as well. And uh, mm -hmm. that has been level funded as of recent years. Yeah. Um, the expenses have not exceeded the, the allocations in their various budget lines. Right. Um, I think it's it's useful to maintain the uh, the the conference's um, budget uh, in case select board members want to take it, take advantage of that. Sure. Um, and uh, so I would, you know, uh, I would recommend level funding. Could, uh, does the county survey have show the select boards and other towns are being paid? I think so. Just how, how are we in line with that? Are we over under? I wonder. I just wonder. I don't. I have no idea. They they tend to vary by community, and then once they're there, they tend not to vary very much. <laughs> so, um, it's it being a stipend, it really doesn't have a lot to do with hours oh, worked. Of not. Um, so it's pretty much just what the community decided at some point. Uh, and you know, for I, I think it's it, it's clear that for the time that everybody puts in, it's not a lot of money. It's kind of a sweetener. Um, but I I I will get you the uh, you know the uh, salary survey on that. Um, yeah, we don't need to say you can, that, right? Yeah, yeah. you can. Uh, yeah, I'd be looking at just that. Just interesting to see what it would be. Yeah. So, some are very low. Mm. I know that. <laughs> God bless you. No idea. Okay, so the so budget um, worksheets are coming in pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, now that said, those are mostly the mostly the smaller budgets. Sure. We don't have any of the major departments coming in yet. Uh, yeah, we do have the treasurer and tax collector. Yeah. Um, but uh, and again, it, it it being so early, there are estimates for some of the things, such as the software subscriptions they have and things sure. like that. But yeah. that's that's always the situation. We we just have to work with that. Good. So uh, uh, Jan's done her best to come up with with good it's figures. Like for the that. police and fire budgets have an ambulance have their radio communication costs through the council of governments and. 
they never put that out till sometime in February, March. You never know yeah. it's going to be till then. Yeah. So, yeah. And it never goes, never stays the same. It always seems to go up every year. Okay. Anything else on the budget? <coughs> uh, I don't. Uh, oh, yeah, I had a couple of notes. Um, I am proposing to raise the uh, animal control officer stipend. Okay. Um, it really what, is, what is it very low. Uh, just a few hundred dollars. Four hundred. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, three or four hundred. Four hundred probably. And um, have you compared it to other towns? It's low. Okay. It's definitely low. So, uh, right. so make a make a recommendation. Yeah, why don't you get a stack? A, a, a lot of them are, are two, two or three thousand dollars. Let's, let's um, have them look at that too. And and I and I don't think we need to raise it that much right away in one year, okay. uh, but I'd like to move in that direction, and. Our current uh, animal control officer is simply not going to ask for that, so I'm going to ask for him. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it's 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 you know clear that if you do do it on an hourly basis, and there's a lot of miles driven too, and there's compensation for that as well, it just doesn't go very far. And again, I'm thinking in terms of what it would take to get somebody to take the position on, if um, the current generous uh, uh, office holder, um, for some reason, couldn't continue. Mm -hmm. So okay. I, it, I think it's only fair to uh, to think of something that actually does involve physical work and going out and talking in some very mm -hmm. difficult situations very, with yeah. some yeah. difficult yeah. people yeah. sometimes. Fired up this situation uh, too. To to have that work. I'm also. Um, oh, can you give us a copy of that survey here, just so we can have an idea what the county is yeah. paying for that too? Sure. Uh, if they do that one, I'll see, I'll see if, if they, they do, do that one. Um, and I will also be proposing to raise my assistance pay to $18 an hour, which is still well short of the $22 an hour the FERCOG offered my previous assistant. Mm. <laughs> but it's, uh, it is um, a, uh, uh, a modest rise for, for one year, and we'll see if that... Um, I had mentioned that before that that was that sure. was my plan, and uh, it would mean, I think, another uh, couple thousand dollars. They mm -hmm. offer sick leave. Uh, she offers sick leave now. Yes, she's she okay? she, she's currently uh, she's currently sick. She's what? She's currently. Oh, she's still out. Yeah. Oh. No. Okay. Anything else, Tom? Uh, nothing on that. Okay. All well, right. We we reward you, Allison here. Yeah. Yeah, oh, oh yes. Uh, so for the uh, the tree board, I'm actually going to be meeting with uh, um, Walter Goodridge uh, tomorrow Good on this. Uh, did, didn't quite get it together in time for this yeah. meeting, right. uh, but I had uh, I had put together. I'd, I'd email emailed him the state law that said you know this is the duties, and I said um, I, I got some things from the STAM email list about job descriptions and things. Just he to, asked me, and I said, well, you need to talk to Tom about that. <laughs> he could come up with the information for you. Just just to have it clear, and I'm thinking at this point of um, having him work uh, directly with Ron. Um, the the way we had it before. A call would come in to me about a tree, and I would call uh, our previous tree warden, and then I'd call Ron, and then I'd try to get yeah, them okay. together. Right. And I think, yeah, you know, if he right. just works directly with Ron, yeah. that it'll be a lot simpler. So yeah. uh, I'm also I'm sure they know each other. It that way. Oh, they do. Yeah. Yes, they do. That's because if, he, if, it, if it has to be dealt with by the town, Ron has to take care of it. So yeah, yeah. All right, Tom, you have your update. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Pretty brief. There's there were only uh, a brief week, a couple of a couple of working days since the last one. Yeah, thanks. Uh, the treasurer reports progress on the loan for the fire truck. We should know within a week or two um, how that's going to move forward. And we have had an uptick in public records requests. Uh, we've had one from a building uh, a builder asking for building inspection records. Uh, which we do have copies of, and one for financial data from researchers looking at the decline in state aid across Massachusetts. What, what is that going to entail? Uh, not much. We've already gotten, uh, I've already sent out the information. It's actually Joyce who's 
who's handling that one. And uh, we have, we've, I've provided all the information that we have on that. It's, uh, it's past audits. Uh, there, are, there are some years we don't have audits because we didn't have audits done. Right. Uh, they sure. were biannual, you mm -hmm. know, not that long ago, so. And when does the law go into effect? Oh, well, there's already a public record. I know, law, but the new, but the, the new law. The, uh, the new one, January 1st. January 1st. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, after having come in last week, uh, my assistant had a relapse and will be uh, mm -hmm. seeing a specialist this week. She regrets her absence and is grateful for the patience we have shown, but she is not in a condition to come back in yet. Sounds like uh, Rob Gronkowski. Uh, I believe we have the FCAT agreement situation sorted out. I believe Doug Finn had been the driver of the original proposal, and of course he's long gone. Mm -hmm. As you recall, the proposal had included a clause that would have had Comcast's PEG access money go straight to FCAT. All of the towns said that even if they gave all the money to FCAT and didn't reserve any for web-based information, they still needed the money to pass through the town's account first. Yes. Yes. Uh, the proposal stalled, but for some reason the interim town administrator in Deerfield picked it up again and circulated a revised copy, which still had some problems, so the current proposal is also sta stalled, and as we heard, FCAT is not pushing for one, so we can leave it. Uh, oh. We can safely <laughs> leave it for now. Okay. All right. Glad we didn't jump on board there right off quick, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that, that was... We, we, Apparently yeah. there wasn't a board to jump on. Uh -huh. Yeah, we didn't want to do that anyway. Okay, concerns of the select then. Thank you, Tom. Any concerns? No. No concerns. Okay, this is good. Um... I think uh, all the mail we got, we've got the beacon in for us. That's the uh, that? purple uh, folder. Right, yeah, we got the beacon There's in. There's a couple right. of pieces in there, and one of them is uh, unfortunate but true. Okay, let's see, we got a, uh, an email from, um, who's this, Mr. Fields, uh, on behalf of Mr. F Marshall Field the fifth. Thank you for the invitation to your to 50th town of Conway anniversary. Mr. Field will be in Canada during the time of your celebration. Mm -hmm. Unable to attend, he sends his regrets and congratulations. Okay. And I replied saying that if he was ever in the area, he could be sure of a warm welcome in Conway. Oh, good. Did you okay. forward that to the 250th yeah. committee? All right, let's see. Um, all right, we've got uh, Town Energy Projects, 5 Academy Hill Road. This is from uh, State Historic Preservation Officer. Yeah, that's our copy of a letter that is in response to the, the uh, Town Hall Insulation Project and the brick exterior, and they're asking for more information. Mm. So... Um, Okay. That's yeah, officially okay. pretty much uh, stalled to death uh, at this point. And we've already we've directed yeah. that money elsewhere. Though. Yeah. So. yeah. And we, we can't go anywhere that without their approval anyway. Right. right. Yeah. So. So. All right. Um, okay. Any announcements? Anybody have any announcements? No. Okay. Next meeting will be uh, Monday, um, December the fifth, seven o'clock here in these offices. Um, okay, we're going to go into a short executive session to, uh, under reason two, to conduct uh, negotiating sessions with a non-union non employee. Um, thank you.